Hi, I'm Bill Nye. I'm a mechanical engineer, but I've dedicated my life to science. And so it's very reasonable to me that we apply the scientific method to this important and for some people troubling question of how Superman is able to shave his beard. Spoiler alert. Superman's got a beard at the beginning, and he doesn't have a beard a little ways into the movie, so there's some means by which he was able to shave. So you might think, quite intuitively, that in order to cut a beard, you need something harder than the beard. So very reasonable that Superman would have some Kryptonian material that would allow him to cut his beard. Maybe you don't have to get that magical or exotic. Maybe it's just, if I may, a grinding operation. In material science, you can shape or cut things using materials that aren't necessarily harder or stronger than the stuff you're cutting. So for example, this rock was made very smooth by using another piece of rock. And so maybe there's a feature of Superman's beard that's brittle at the microscopic level. It has asperity or roughness, and his grinder is able to knock over these pieces of whisker, even though the thing that's knocking them over is not really any harder than the whisker. It's just got a wider, stronger footprint. This is a subtle, fabulous material science thing. That Superman doesn't shave his beard by cutting it. He shaves it by grinding it without damaging his skin. So how does the Man of Steel shave? The material science theory. Vote for my theory at howdoesheshave.com.